How we doing folks? Back out in the woods again. So, we back cooking again. What we're using tonight. One Tigris, the kind of foldable wood stove. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use the TF grill. Get the, uh, the wee stove thing lit up. And then, tonight, it's pie night. Simple Simon was a pie man. So I've got these for the butcher. Right. Boy, that thing went. Give me a kayak. We're just getting a good deal. £30 worth. One of the big kind of pack things you get with everything to the butchers. So tonight, like I say, it's pie night. So a couple of things that were in this pack. There's a steak pie and a mince round. So I'm going to cook the both of them. Or I'm going to try and cook the both of them in that TF grill. So I'm hoping it works. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stick a bit of tin foil over the top or the crust so that when I flip it they don't burn, or fingers crossed they don't burn. But I'm hoping that this works. So stay tuned. Let's get cooking. First things first, we'll get the stove put together. You've probably seen me use this a million times. Uh, and this is the original one. Obviously there's two of these. There's the... Original, and then I think there's the what's it called? The Evil Eyes, I think it's called. But I'm just gonna use the original one today. So we'll set this up, and it literally just all just clips up, all clips together. Easy, easy as. Probably quite a lot of folk have got these now, but they're really, really handy, and you don't need any gas. Basically, I've just all I've done is, I've just collected those are pine cones snap twigs so I can actually enjoy to use these like right, so you don't have to you don't have to spend any money in gas or just basically chuck it all in light it and then you're good to go so enough of me yapping and I'll get this set up bring it back in a minute so, as ever, you cheeky fire lighter. Put that in, I don't. And then, chuck it in. Pine cones, great for this. So, I'm going to chuck the pine cones in first. Let them light. And then, if you stick. Stick the trunks in after. This will just give it a wee, a wee start. Right, pie wise. So, like I say, there's a steak pie in here. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? A wee mini steak pie. And one pie's not enough for me. A mince round as well. So, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get some tin foil and I'm just going to wrap the top of them. So just see it. But if I don't do that, I'll end up charring the top of it. So I'm going to wrap both of them. Just like that. Drops a good one. And hopefully, with the TF grill, I should. Well, I'm hoping we can find out that they both fit in. Yeah, I Well, more or less. In fact, <laughs> one at a time. So, what we'll have, eeny meeny miny mo, of the steak pie first. I do like a steak pie. Pack it on. And fingers crossed, of a steak pie. No, no one can do So let that cook. I was going to make mashed tatties as well. I have had gravy, but I can't be bothered. So I'm just going to, I'm basically just going to sit out in the woods, eat a couple of pies. Somebody's got to do that. So I don't know how long that'll take. That's what I love about this. It's just great, just flip it over, boom. 
good to go. But I reckon that'll take, I don't know, did you think, about 15 minutes or something? Who knows? I'm just gonna play it be here, keep flipping it over, and then again, I reckon, I reckon 15 minutes will be, will be fine. Cheap enough anyway. Should be good to go. So I'm gonna let that cook away, like I say, eh, uh, got future videos. A couple of new things, a couple of new hammock to try out A separate bug net Tarp, just waiting on the tarp coming We shout out to Johnny Explores Scotland He gave me a big bag of eh, army rations So that'll be a future video We'll sample our way through all of them I've even got a couple of the biscuits You know how I like my biscuits So I know that was in the bag So chocolate chip, oat biscuits a couple of them are brew after this. I've also had another company send me, you know how you get these meals in these bags, and an ingenious, it's a, you basically don't need, it's, it's a fireless cooking system, so you actually don't need a gas stove, you don't need wood, you don't need fire, it must be work with a kind of chemical reaction. So they've sent me, I don't know, five or six, Meals, desserts, eh, what else? You sent me beef jerky, try that, and the whole kind of the bag kind of cooking system. But that'll be a future video tonight. Oh, make sure my pies don't burn tonight. It's pie night. <laughs> don't go away. Oh, I can actually smell that cooking now, actually. Oh, steak pie. It's tremendous. I think that's good to go. I've remembered cutlery. Oh yes. So, let's get the, the spark. Some people don't like these, but they're really handy, I think. So, let's get it out. Well, I'm going to get the steak pie out first, right? Oh, that's looking, oh, it's feeling hot. I'll put the min mince round in. Took a couple more pound, pound, pound coins. Pine cones. Chuck them in, mince round on. Right, let's sample the steak pie for the butchers. Oh yes. Right, let's give it a go. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Right, bon appetit. It was good to meet. Steam's belting off it. Actually, no, I can't tell. Right, that's pretty good. Nice pastry. Mm. Well, love butchers' pies, don't you? There's nothing like the ones you buy at a the supermarket that have got no meat in them. It's just actually get plenty of meat. The taste is nice. It's almost like homemade, isn't it? Mm. Oh. Oh, I'm going to let that out with my mouth full. That's the great thing about those TF grills. You cook just about anything in them, almost acts like an oven because it encloses it over. I keep getting folks saying, uh, well, you should try a pizza on it. So it's going to have to be a reasonably small pizza, but I've heard a few folks on uh, pizzas, or even those, those French bread pizzas, they're supposed to be good in them as well. Uh, oh, I'll go on with that. Bring him back once the mince pie is done. Right, steak pie, go on. I could actually eat a full one of them, see if you like the big family size one. I could, I could demolish that, no problem. 
but that was nice. As ever, leave no trace, take your rubbish with you. I've just got to wait for the month's round. <laughs> Let's sample that as well. But oh, see that? Oh, that bag of beachers, beachers, butcher stuff. There's everything on it from mince to stewing steak to bacon to hamburgers to uh, Chinese chops. To, I think there's a steak in it, a rum pie steak. Oh, there's, there's a multitude of, multitude of meat. So, over the next few trips, I'll be sampling it all. Who knows what I'll take out the next time I'm out, but I'll basically work my way through that full bag. Butchers, butchers meat, butchers food. All the things are kind of rattled off there. Right now, come on the men's round. Come on the men's pie. Let's be, let's be having you. Pie number two. Round. Sample number two. Oh, that looks good. Looks good. Very nice indeed. Anyway, I'll scoff this, bring you back for a brew and a couple of army ration chocolate chip cookies. We'll see what they're like as well. Time for a brew. What are doing, Mel? So, again, big thanks to Johnny Explorer Scotland. He's kindly made me up. Colin Russell, Scottish Well Camper, Camp Gear Mug. So, this will be some of the merch that will be coming. Got all sorts of things planned, and I've talked about it before. Let's get the website up and running. Got everything from mugs to t shirts to hoodies to we were talking about possibly doing tents. We're just going to try and go the full hog frying pans, cookware, titanium cups, mugs you name it. Going to try and give it a bash anyway. But if you've not checked out Johnny Explorer's Scotland's channel, go and check his channel out. And the company that's going to be making this is his. It's called Mprint. So go and have that way, give that way look as well. If you want anything, just tell me I sent you. Right, so, army ration. So, oh, there's quite a few in here actually. I thought there was only two. But luckily enough, there's five. So chocolate chip oat cookies, you know it's got to be dumped, so let's see what these are like. I do like dumping my biscuits you know. They're all right. Quite sure. If you're in the army and you've been lying in a ditch for three days, you'll be the best biscuits you've ever tasted. But I do prefer a, a chocolate digestive. But I still will eat all five of them. You know what I mean? It's not one, not. That's not that bad. Army ration biscuits done. Actually, they're not that bad. But just to round things off, yes, turnips, caramel wafer. What do I do? Cheers.
Well, that's that. That's me for the night. It's just about done and pie night's over. Chocolate baskets are eaten. So, I'm going to call it a night. As ever, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Don't mind, hit the wee like button. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Hit the bell for future notifications. We'll catch you in the next one. Adios.